So when you're fighting a war and you can't even identify the enemy, uh, most people would understand that you're kind of in big trouble at that point. People have to understand the reason we went to Afghanistan in 2001 was to fight al Qaeda, to respond to the 911 attacks, to try and find Osama bin Laden. Within the first six months, by the spring of 2002, we had largely accomplished that goal. Al Qaeda was virtually erased from Afghanistan. They had either been killed, captured, or had fled, like bin Laden went to Pakistan. There were very few al Qaeda foot soldiers left in Afghanistan. And in these interviews we obtained, person after person says, that's when things started to go off the rails. That's when we, our mission got fuzzy. We had a hard time figuring out who the enemy was, what we were trying to accomplish, what the objectives were. So for, since 2002, you know, that's been very blurry. And that really explained a lot about why the war has gone on and on and on. Nobody was quite sure how to end it or what the objectives were. You also show opium production in Afghanistan actually has gone up since the U.S. invasion, saying in your reporting, last year, quote, Afghan farmers grew poppies, the plant from which opium is extracted to make heroin, on four times as much land as they did in 2002. Explain how that happened, Craig. Well, that's a good question. This is another, you know, byproduct, a, a very negative byproduct of the war was uh, Afghanistan is the largest producer of opium in the world. And this is different from uh, laboratory-made opiates that we're having such trouble with the United States right now. We're talking about opium that's being that's used and grown in the fields to make heroin and morphine and drugs like that. Uh, the irony is, when the war started, there was very little opium production in Afghanistan, because the Taliban, in the year 2000, had uh, issued a ban on growing opium that was actually largely successful. But after the war started and the Taliban was booted from power, uh, opium production went, you know, skyrocketed in Afghanistan, because this is a very profitable crop. And the United States never quite figured out what to do about it. Was this part of the war strategy? Was this something the United States needed to do something about? That wasn't why we went to war, but it was obviously a big factor fueling corruption and illicit production in Afghanistan. The United States has spent over $8 billion just trying to tackle the opium problem in Afghanistan since 2001. And yet, as you point out correctly, uh, production of it has gone up by more than four times. The last few years, there have been record harvests. So, again, this is—things have gotten worse in Afghanistan on this front, despite our presence and despite the spending of billions and billions of dollars there. So, one thing people need to recall, to put this in perspective, the United States, since 2001, has spent more money trying to rebuild, reconstruct Afghanistan in development and humanitarian aid than it did in Europe with the Marshall Plan after World War II, and that's after you adjust for inflation. So that's the scope of what we've spent in Afghanistan, trying to rebuild the country. Uh, the first several years of the war under the Bush administration, we actually didn't spend that much. And there was a lot of criticism in the Afghanistan papers that if the Bush administration had spent more and spent more thoughtfully trying to build up Afghanistan in the early years, it could have made a real difference. Then by the time President Obama took power, the war wasn't going well. We sent you know, 100,000 U.S. troops to Afghanistan as part of a surge. And simultaneously, we spent billions and billions and billions of dollars in a really short amount of time trying to build up the Afghan government, as long as we had all the troops there. Now, in these interviews in the Afghanistan papers, again, person after person complains that uh, th th this spending was really mindless. One word that keeps popping up is the word insane, that they were just told to spend as much money as possible building schools, clinics, roads, anything, to just make it look like they were doing something. and that. In retrospect, of course, it didn't make any sense, and they don't know whether any of it did any good. This is not to mention the money to... spent bombing the country at the same time. Well, exactly. And most people would say that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? We're, we're bombing the heck out of the country, but yet we're spending all this money simultaneously trying to blow it up.